Hello guys, just Goran here and welcome back to another episode of Building the Bakes of Bergen and today we are going to show off a bunch of things because you might have seen the amount of videos kind of drop the past week uh, compared to before where I was uploading like pretty regularly um, I've kind of... what's happened over here? <laughs> So yeah, you, you might have seen I, I uploaded quite a bit less compared to usual. And there's a bunch of reasons as to why that is. First of all, I was uploading a lot, even for my standards. And I wasn't saving up videos anymore because I was doing that for a while, uploading only once a week. But I was just not enjoying holding on to videos for so long because I wanted to share uh, and, and talk with people about the things that I was doing at that moment. What that does mean is that if I don't record a video for a while, then I have nothing to upload. So yeah, that's kind of the main reason why. And why didn't I have a lot of time to record? Well, school kind of caught up with me. There's uh, quite a lot of things I, I need to be doing. I haven't been feeling too well. I'm not really sick or anything. I'm just tired and kind of worn out because I have to do a lot of stuff. And you know, I. I I want to play this game to relax, but uh, I do need to be in the mood for it. And uh, what I have been in the mood for is the new Doom game that came out. I've been playing that quite a bit, which is also why I played less Planet Zoo. But I did actually play stuff, um, <laughs> which comes to the next reasons. Um, I actually recorded a whole video working in this area and building this place. Uh, this is going to be the well, I want to call it a reptile house, but it's not really a reptile house because it only houses like a one crocodile. Uh, uh, it only houses a bunch of crocodiles and, and some hippos. But yeah, I worked on this area making... Uh, it was basically started off as an experiment of, of can I get the pathing in this place to work? And once I did, uh, I started putting in some of the habitats. Uh, but then I found out that the pathing did not work after all because I was making use of two meter staircases and it looked really good. Like for as good as you can make something look with the pathing system in this game, of course. Um, but the people are actually not able to use two meter staircases. I completely forgot about that, even though um, Mike Sheets, the, the discoverer of, of, of two and three meter pathing, uh, warned for that in his video. I, I, was, I completely forgot, so I had these two meter staircases, but people couldn't actually walk on them, and if I would place them up here manually, they would get trapped. So I decided to scrap all the pathing, and then I decided to scrap this episode altogether, and we'll get to this when we get to it, basically. Then, because I knew I was going to be very busy with school, uh, I recorded a zoo tour, uh, after doing a lot of stuff off camera in the areas here. Because I had been recording Doom uh, with my microphone turned off, uh, when I went to record the zoo tour, I accidentally left the microphone off. And then when I went and recorded another video, I also left the microphone turned off on accident. Right now, I'm double checking, it's turned on, this is being recorded. <laughs> so yeah, a um, bunch of failed recordings, a lot of stuff to do. Um, just all in all, many reasons kind of pile up as to why um, there hasn't been many videos lately. But And then on top of that, I kind of want to get more done in a video. I've been noticing that my videos have been getting longer and I've been making less progress in them. Um, kind of a result of me doing more real-time segments as opposed to time lapses, I suppose. But yeah, I want to kind of fix that and um, get more done in a video. So there's actually a lot to show now because I have done a lot of camera. And yeah, this was <laughs> when I went to record this segment. It was actually supposed to be the second segment in a video, but now it has to be the opening. <laughs> so let's actually go over everything for like a third time. I'm, I'm recording, showing these things off. But over here, we've got a little garden area in front of the first primate house. And uh, you can see it's all kind of like very newly planted shrubs and bushes that are still very small uh, because this garden is actually only about a year maybe two years old so very small trees and uh, yeah it's it's very young then over here at the primate house is also something pretty interesting to show because i have done this wall it was actually a blank wall uh, for the longest time um, but I've also come up with new methods of making these patterns. Uh, of course, making the murals in the Africa village has really given me kind of 
new t uh, methods and, and skills to be able to make shapes like this. And uh, it really shows because if we go over to the other side, this one has also been completely redone compared to the old one. I'll throw up a picture right now of the old one. And yeah, it's, it's, the difference is night and day. It's, it's incredible. Uh, not only does it look a lot better, it's actually also uh, much more one-to-one -one accurate to the real life bit. Only downside being that this takes forever to make it. it. I think I didn't actually time myself, but I feel like it may have taken like one or two hours just to do one side of a building like this. So uh, I still have the entire back of the building to do, um, which I'll get to whenever I feel like it. I really have to be in the mood for this sort of stuff because it's it's tedious and time consuming <laughs> to say the least. But yeah, other than that, I've been also making small adjustments to the primate house, adding these metal doors and kind of other details. And uh, it's really getting close to being done now, so that's really great. Now, moving over here to the entrance area and gift shop. The entrance area is still not really done. I think this stone brick here is new, so woohoo. <laughs> but yeah, it's still a lot to be done here. It's, uh... But over here, we have the gift shop. And I have been doing a lot of work in here. You can see a lot more detail on the walls, gift shop items placed down. There's now more kind of shelves and then kind of these little, uh, in real life they're nets, kind of separating the two areas of the gift shop, or I guess three areas almost with this little midsection here. Uh, I've moved these shelves over a lot more. Um, making this a bit more narrow of a space, but it uh, it is very detailed. And all that's kind of left is that we need more of these kind of over here, but uh, I'll get to that. <laughs> I've also been finding more things to put on the shelves, like these little cups uh, made out of the gutter caps. Uh, and yeah, I've just been placing small things, like switches and gutter caps are like my new <laughs> favorite items pretty much. Well, I mean switches has been pretty much anyone's favorite item from the start uh, ever since people started making the mosaics out of them. But yeah, there still needs to be more um, kind of store items in here. Um, I'm pretty happy with these things. These are like, yeah, these little hanging hooks things. <laughs> I'm not sure what they call them. Um, but yeah, they're made out of um, out of an exterior outlet. Uh, which actually hides itself away in the wall almost perfectly, which is which is pretty great. Over here, we've got this counter, which I also changed a bit to be a lot wider. Um, and over here we have this little glass area, which is subject to change because in about a week or so, a bit, a bit more than a week, we're gonna get the new glass pieces, which uh, is going to severely change how uh, this is going to look and I really hope that they're going to be small enough to really do some awesome things with them because um, I was also thinking about like oh yeah I can maybe start putting some doors in here that are always opened but then I realized yeah I probably want to have those glass pieces for that so I'm waiting <laughs> I'll be waiting for them um, all the details that I've added here by the way are the gutters um, that is looking pretty great uh, on the back here they've also got drainage pipes uh, over here the drainage just goes into the uh, into the river or the, or the moat i should say uh, which is pretty cool and now moving over to this area which is where i've most recently been working i finally got some more detailed rock placement around this place just all these tiny rocks placed down that, um, yeah, just like real life. I've got this thing here, which I have no idea what it is, but I mean, it's it's adding some detail to it. I don't like how the plant is sticking through it though. We should just lower you so that you don't do that. That's better. And um, yeah, this is just a little path from the restaurant and the primate house going into the rest of the zoo. Uh, they've got this little decorative area, which is like a, a mining area. Um, and I've been using reeds to kind of use this because there's in real life they have reeds here that are like cut off and this kind of looks like that which is pretty good but I'm not sure if I'm really happy with it but yeah I'll see uh, I've put an ATM here in real life there's a little laptop that is 
pretty much always turned off, I think. Um, but yeah, I put an ATM here so that people actually um, walk over here occasionally. Um, even though in real life I actually never see anyone walk over here because there isn't really much to do here. But yeah, it's nice to see people use the things you built, which is why I put that ATM there. What's also pretty cool over here, we've got a little stork's nest, uh, like a white stork uh, bird's nest. Um, and I've had to make that custom myself because no one actually built one yet. I found someone who had built one but hasn't put it on the workshop yet. Uh, once he does then I'll probably check it out to see if it uh, looks any better than the one I was able to create. But I'm actually pretty happy with this because I've been using the one meter climbable logs which is kind of the, the smallest stick in the game. Uh, I actually wanted to use these African air plants but this one is the smallest one and even that one is just super big and can't really be put in a nice shape like this so yeah that's why i went with these now before we move on there's kind of some little things that have been uh on my mind and that have come up uh during the, the failed recordings i suppose uh, one of which is the zoo tours i'm not really sure if they serve much of a purpose anymore ever since i've got my new comp uh, Ever since I upgraded my computer and I've done and I've started doing more real-time sections like this and um, it kind of defeats the purpose of the zoo tour which was you know taking a step out of time lapses to take a look at everything in real time but we're already taking looks at everything in real time so why dedicate a whole episode to that so yeah, if you still want to see zoo tours just feel free to comment and uh, talk about what you'd like to see in zoo tours but for the time being I, I might just kind of drop that concept altogether. Now there was something else I wanted to talk about but I completely forgot what it was so let's just actually move on and finally start doing some things before I talk for so long that I have to end off the episode without having done anything and we'll basically make this a zoo tour. Um, very quickly one more thing I want to show is these little speakers uh, that I made custom using switches um, because the because the in-game speakers are either the this weird ass strange shape or they are the right shape but far far too big that's why I decided yeah just look at how humongous those things are uh, that's why I decided to create my own little speakers and I've uh, actually put them over here and at the other primate house let's actually get to work so i've been working on this area a bunch uh, putting down all of this stuff and there's currently two problems problem number one is because i finally finished this little bridge um you may remember if you've been with the series very long or if you've actually uh, come back and watched some older episodes that this bridge has been a pain in the ass from the start uh, every time i want to do something with the terraforming this water um, or pretty much anything else and um, this bridge is preventing me from doing that um, and right now what's problematic about that is that for some reason this path is obstructed by this water even though it's so far away from it uh, I can't add any more things to it I can't change the path not that I want to but uh, what I what I want to do is use this method to get rid of those little logs but I simply can't and it's super frustrating but I can't put this bridge back properly uh, I've moved it a little uh, since uh, where compared to where it was in the past um, I've got these things placed over it and it's stuck in place that means I can't actually move the water anymore which means I can't edit this path, I can't edit this terrain. Um, yeah, I kind of shot myself in the foot here. So we're really just gonna have to deal with um, what we have, which really sucks. Okay, in trying to trim down the footage, the context of the next few clips has kind of been lost. So let me just give it to you here. I started working on the restaurant area. Over here, we have many, 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 many changes to the restaurant. 
I found one image online that kind of showed me what I wanted to see. Uh, it at least showed me the location of this sign, which I haven't put the right words on. But yeah, I was able to look at various pictures and kind of piece together a few big changes. First of all, the entire restaurant has been sunken down into the ground a little. Uh, it was just ever so little much higher at first. This area has been changed from um, planks to bricks. I still have to do the interior. Speaking of the interior, there is now a pizza place and a drink place and a toilet, uh, which I'm not sure if the toilet's accessible, but um, it might be. No one's used it yet, but I'm not getting a notification that it's not accessible. I have removed the water and fixed all the paths uh, and I am now 99.9 okay maybe not I'm like 80 percent sure I'm never gonna have to change anything here again so I'm gonna put the water back in and pray to God <laughs> that my suspicions are correct in that regard but yeah I have made all of this pathing as invisible as possible same goes for this side so I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't have to change that water ever again the only thing I can think of is this terraforming maybe that has to be done at some point but I don't think these paths are interfering with that water I think I can just redo this if I need to so time to put the water back in which means we have to get rid of the bridge um, box up all the gorillas it did it that's fantastic okay now we need to get the bridge back in and that's the biggest challenge to all of this so let's get it as close to the ground as possible and of course it's not cooperating. Oh wait, no, I found a different way. I just remembered. I should have written that down or something. Because uh, I started to do this. So that's not right. Let's get it in the right spot. So do that. Deselect. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. That's what we like to see. Uh, actually, is it? It's not perfect. That's not either. Uh, I think... But I think we can live with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's just as good enough as I'm ever going to get it again. So... Yeah, several reasons not to touch the water ever. Bridge. Everything else. Yeah, if there's anything to be learned from this entire experience as we are unboxing our gorillas, uh, it is that finish what you start. I started building this, phew, God, how long ago did we start this project? Months ago. Um, and I got stuck on it because I didn't have enough reference photos. Then I took those reference photos and I stopped. I never actually went back and uh, completed it and now four months later I am seeing all these things that I want to change and it's it's just one big mess because yeah, yeah finish what you start <laughs> some of the major changes actually is this little brick wall over here which is uh, completely made out of brick columns uh, painted brick and because it's painted brick we can also get this nice little detail at the bottom and there's some murals that have to be added to this uh, all of these little huts are actually also made out of painted bricks as well so we're going to be using a lot of those and ooh, it looks like people are actually swarming into the restaurant which is pretty great uh, are they using the toilets as well five people have used the toilets yay that's perfect so the toilets are actually that, that's something i want to emphasize even though that we're going to kind of turn this into a black box uh, sort of thing even though it's kind of functional <laughs> i say that as people are dropping into the floor to get their food <clears throat> um, but the food where you the place where you get your food is actually in the same spot as it is in real life the toilets are actually in the same spot as in real life kinda I mean the toilets are 
uh, underneath there's like a basement where the toilets are but I mean they're currently located where the staircase to that basement would be and I don't think I could do it any better because this is such a mess already uh, now over here I want to fix the roof because I broke that I'm not sure about this window I put that there God knows if that's what that should be I really have to kind of fill in all the gaps when building this but yeah what's left to do now is kind of this back area uh, you can see there's actually a queue over there which is definitely not supposed to be there um, and yeah we've got uh, a wall here and I've actually got pictures of me kind of peeking over this fence to see what this entire area looks like as well as pictures of me from this side kind of peeking over the fence what this area looks like so that is my next focus all right a bit later a bit more cleaning up um, but i think it's time we add this to the pile of things to do once we have the new glass pieces because these windows are uh, fine but not really correct at all so i'm gonna put this on the back burner until we have the new roofs uh new windows glass pieces and now the only thing speaking of roofs is i have no idea how i'm gonna do this roof it's it's very complex because of the small shapes and the curves and uh it's 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 not really doable i'm afraid so that's uh, a struggle okay on the front nothing much has changed because i'm leaving that mainly to when we get some new pieces but i have been working on the backstage area now you can see like a million of these buildings um, these two are temporary but these are all in place very well and you can see that I've, yeah i've been working on this backstage area and it's really taking shape quite nicely there's uh, some stairs going up and just a bunch of junk some patio heaters from the workshop they are made by osmaya cyril um, and that's something i oh that's what i wanted to mention early in the episode when i didn't know what i was going to talk about anymore <laughs> freaking 12 hours later i realized yeah i'm keeping track of all the workshop items i am using throughout the zoo so that when the project is finished i'm actually going to be able to credit everyone i have used items of so that's gonna be pretty cool i think i'll try to point out things as i use them just like we just did with these special just what what pieces are these actually what the oh ha, exclamation points that's brilliant yeah so i'll try to point out things as we use them uh, just like this car over here which is part of this one the zoo maintenance pack by fury 4 which has a, a bunch of great uh, staff vehicles and, and things like that which is really cool so well while we're on the topic of pointing out things i've used we've also got this dumpster yeah dumpster by mr domes as well as a bike rack by amber and the rest of the things here has been made by myself so what's pretty funny uh, is if you remember we have a thing going on where we are hiding staff areas underground um, including well pretty much everything and it's also linking up uh, several pieces of the zoo that are inaccessible and now recently we discovered how to make um, people not run away from hostile animals so in theory I could actually link up staff areas through these um, paths again however I don't think I'm gonna do it because I, I, I kind of don't like the prospect of, of staff just walking along this road here um, that's not really something you'd be seeing so we're just going to keep these underground tunnels and right now it's actually pretty funny because i've hooked it up to this little building um so now you just have staff constantly walking in here um and out of it it's like how big is that place well uh huge <laughs> actually so i had to touch the water again but the good news is that our new compromised bridge uh is actually the best as uh, the easiest bridge so far to replace like all i have to do is this and it will be back in place which is pretty astonishing so 
having to remove the water is no longer really an issue, so I can actually do whatever the hell I want, which is a couple of things. First of all, oh no. That is not a possibility, sadly. I want to get rid of these, but it's not going to let me, I don't think. So, the problem here is that I was trying to edit these paths, and I was like, oh yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, but it turns out that all of this has become one piece of path. Just a monster that does not want to be dealt with. Uh, so I hope that I can remove you. <gasps> I can. Okay. Uh, I still... Why can I not get rid of those little posts? I hate them. Uh, we won't be able to do something with the wall there. But speaking of the wall, I made some small adjustments. Uh, these were also logs, but now they're little beams. They're supposed to be metal, but they're wood. But, you know, uh, it can be whatever we want. All right. I did a little pathing magic uh, because I realized that uh, the entrance to the service area behind here is actually not over here, but rather over here. So, I uh, put this really down. I hope that he's gonna want to walk that way. Of course, he's not. Um, that sucks for me. Maybe this vet does. You there? You want to wander over? Yeah. Cool. So now, okay, yeah, they clip for the building. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, but I really couldn't get any better. Um, they also clip through there. And then they walk down the stairs. Uh, Semi-clipping through it. But, I mean, they take the, the right route. Which is pretty cool. Okay, I think I did it, actually. It's now uh, going around the building. Gotta get rid of this one. Yeah, perfect. Okay, just a little bit more fidgeting around. And I actually managed to do it, which is Fantastic. And we'll immediately be able to get to see this in action with this mister over here. Gonna show us that the path works, hopefully. And yeah, they take a little shortcut there, but that's fine. And no going through the building. Just taking a nice stroll and then coming out of the fence here. Yeah. Which we're gonna make a gate or something out of. And um, I don't think we have to make this all staff path uh, because this bit is. So people don't see this as a potential route, which is pretty great. Well, we are done with the path, so we can put the water back in and fix up you, Mr. Bridge, and fix up the gorillas. And the last thing I want to do is put up this little sign that we made for the Rhino House, but it uh, it goes on here as well, because it's literally the same sign <laughs> in real life as well. So, yeah, we can just move that a little bit more. Oh, nope. No, 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 no. Can I get the sign, please? Just move that up to the left. Oh, hey, look, there are people walking here. That's cool. Yeah, it's all being used. You know, with getting all these little rope fences in and stuff, this area really is starting to come to life and kind of feel a little bit finished, which is really great. But for now, this is where I'm going to end off the episode. We made great progress on this area, um, but now I'm kind of running into the fact that Either the game is stopping me with a, a lack of parts, like the glass pieces that we're getting soon. Um, or a lack of reference, or just a lack of... I don't know what the hell to do with this roof. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to put some thought into that stuff. Um, so until then, we're probably going to work on a different area soon. And I'll just work on some of the detailing in between episodes. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, until then, have a nice time, stay safe, and goodbye.